just a quick update on the mini quad build. I actually had to modify the uh, bottom plate design with some cutouts to accommodate the ESCs as well as uh, battery underneath. And I also, as you can tell, had to print new mounts with a, a little bit of a square looking landing gear. I had originally printed these but then I realized if I want to mount the battery or anything underneath I need some clearance. I tried original design was this motor mount with a landing gear kind of in a cone shape that would come down and be real thin but as you can see after several tries MakerBot didn't really like that and it just basically stopped extruding so I don't know if that was a design issue or a printer issue but these are the new design legs and you can take a quick look at that printing and in the original design I had a just a inset or inlay for a power distribution board and once again thank you Stone Blue Airlines for just recommending a pigtail approach with the solder together. Now I didn't have any heat shrink tubing and what I did was I purchased a bottle of this liquid electrical tape which I was pretty excited about. If you take a look at this stuff it's real gooey and you know it's it's okay to work with the problem is they recommend two coats of this stuff and each coat they recommend allowing four hours to dry so you know if you were to follow the recommendations basically you have to wait eight hours before you can use um, any of your electrical gear that's been set up with this liquid electrical tape so you know I definitely didn't wait that long should keep things isolated but in the long term I'm going to stick with a uh, heat heat shrink tubing. So next on the list are getting these little 2300 kV motors mounted. Now these holes are pretty small so I've had a hard time finding bolts that will that will work with those so I'm gonna work through that. The other difficult thing is that you can see the pin connector that comes with these motors. It's just a tiny three prong header pin that's soldered to these leads. And so I need to either find a female a version of the header pin to solder these three ESC leads on and then I can plug this together or come up with a quick and dirty solution. So I'll be looking at that. And then lastly we'll get a top plate with our flight controller. I've actually found out that this Multi-Wii X-Rock is very similar to the Multi-Wii Flip. So that's good. And then we'll also have our receiver. So I'm going to go ahead and let's just do a quick weight check. I'll put everything in the bag and let's see how we're doing. Okay, quad is in the bag. 0.19 kilograms, so 190 grams. So that's pretty good. We could actually probably bring that down some more by shrinking uh, the plate, maybe uh, shortening the booms a little bit. Okay, and one last thing. I've been asked a few questions about distance from center of motor to center of motor. So right now we're at eight and a half inches, which is about 216 millimeters. So I'll be working with that and then probably depending on how that performs, we might bring that in a little bit. So that's it for now. I'll be posting more updates soon, but if you have any questions, please feel free to post and thanks for watching.